What is going on everybody, Zionic here, and in today's video we're going to be diving into another Fusion Cup Tournament Shoutcast from Piscavor from Michigan. So shout out to him, he went 5-0 in his Fusion Cup Tournament, and also huge congratulations on making Ace Trainer, that is so awesome to see. If you guys are wanting to get your tournament shoutcasted, there's going to be a link down in the description to that, so be sure to submit your tournament videos there. Um, but let's go ahead and get right into this Fusion Cup Tournament. Alright, so here in round one we have Piscavor versus Cat Zero, Wizcash versus Knocked Out on the lead. It'll be really interesting to see if he can either successfully shield bait or land a blizzard here. Piscavor is looking to go straight for the blizzard. Um, again, getting a shield or doing a ton of damage, it's very advantageous here in the beginning and he gets the damage, so this is awesome. All right, Sky Attack coming in now from Knocked Out. I'm gonna take Wizcash into the yellow here, um, but let's see if he decides to switch or stay in it. Another Sky Attack coming in. Will it be shielded by the Wizcash? No shield coming from the Wizcash, trusting that he can get to the Mud Bomb in time. Now this Mud Bomb won't be taking out the Noctowl, but it'll get it very, very low. So let's see what he has in the back. He has a Polyrath and a Bronzong. Likely going to see the Bronzong coming in here, but we shall see. Polyrath coming in. Um, instead, getting a little bit of lag, but can he get to the Ice Punch in time? He can. Will this force a shield on the Noctowl? Let's see. Yes, it does force a shield, and he tries to switch, but he can't get it in time. He's going to have to shield. Um, if he could have soaked that Sky Attack on the Noctowl, that would have been awesome, but he's looking to stay in there. Going for another Ice Punch here. This should finish off Noctowl, the, foregoing, charging it up, because it will take it out anyways. Bronzong now comes in, so now he needs to switch into the mirror, um, but Bronzong is a head-on energy, so he's in a very advantageous place to get off a of Bulldoze potentially right here and make it go unshielded, which he does. So let's see what he has in the back. Um, we do see the swap on the Bulldoze, but thankfully the Bulldoze going into Probo Pass is going to be doing huge damage as we see right there. So Bronzong doing very, very well. Um, but he's going to have to shield this right here or potentially go for the Psy Shock, but it, it may not be enough damage. Shield does go up on the Bronzong right here, um, and he's looking to go for Psy Shock now, um, hoping to have another Psy Shock for the Bronzong coming back in. Um, but let's see, he's looking to go switch, and he does switch. He goes straight for Ice Punch right now. This Ice Punch won't do any damage, but it may get a shield. But Polyrath is so low. He does get the shield, but Bronzong is going to be able to easily farm down. Can't get to um, the Dynamic or Ice Punch. And then Bronzong has a Psy Shock ready to go for the Mirror Mesh. So that is going to be GG's in the first game of Round 1. Let's go ahead and get into Game 2 here. So Game 2... So mixing it up with the Venusaur lead versus Knocked Out this time. So it's not that great. He's got to switch into Wizcash. So let's see what comes out from Cat. No switch from Cat. Um, this kind of tells us maybe it's the Bronze on Probo Pass again, which Wizcash is looking really, really strong for. Um, so he's going to go ahead and go for Mud Bomb now, hoping to get a shield bait. Um, so let's see what happens. He does get the successful shield bait. So that is awesome. Now he's looking to go for Blizzard. Um, Wiz Cash, is he going to shield? No shield coming in from the Sky Attack. Going for the Blizzard now. Um, if this connects, it'll be taking the Knocked Out very low. But he does shield it as well. So that automatically tells me um, that he has Bronzong and Probo Pass again in the back. Is a shield going to go up on the Wiz Cash here? Shield does go up. Maybe he's looking to switch. No switch. The switch comes in, and he switches into the mirror match of Bronzong versus Bronzong. Um, so it's going to come down to who's got the most energy. I think he pulled early. I think this is a Psy Shock, not a Bulldoze. No, it is Bulldoze. Okay, fair enough. Um, maybe, yeah, he was one ahead because of the swap. So um, Bulldoze coming back into the mirror match. But again, remember, he has Venusaur, um, which is not going to be good versus that Bronzong. He can get a few confusions on it. Looks like he's going for the Psy Shock here. This won't be finishing off Bronzong. It's way too thick. Um, but let's see what happens. He's going now for the Psy Shock in the mirror fight. This is going to come down to the confusion damage. And it will be very interesting to see what he has coming in. I'm thinking it's Probo Pass um, coming in. But we might see the swap. Okay, no, it's Wizcash. Oh, wow. All right, Venusaur is ready to go. 
Um, remember, he still has Blizzard available on his own Wizcash for um, the Knocked Owl, and he is going to successfully land a Frenzy Plant here versus the Wizcash. That's going to take him out. Knocked Owl in the back is looking to come in, and he goes straight for the Blizzard versus the Knocked Owl. This is going to be getting a ton of health. Now, Knocked Owl might be able to finish off with fast moves alone. Nope, he's able to get a Mud Bomb um, off just in time. This may not be enough still. No, it's enough. GG's very well played. 1-1 one, one in the series. Man, this is a tough round one. Basically a mirror match. Um, and we have Shift Tree versus Bronzong on the lead. So this is really bad for Bronzong. He's got to get out of there. And he's switching into Polyrath. A somewhat of a safe switch. Even though the Leaf Blade will be doing super effective damage to Polyrath. It won't one hit KO it. Um, and Polyrath can fight back with Ice Punch and Dynamic Punch at a very high rate. So will we see a second shield come in? No second shield come in. Again, Leaf Blade not going to be able to connect um, and take it out. But we do see an Ice Punch now coming in from Polyrath. Um, that'll get the shield on Shift Tree. And now a Dynamic Punch coming in potentially for the KO here if it lands. It does. That is going to be a KO because of the dark typing from Shift Tree. Now we see Knocked Out come in, able to get a little bit of energy, but he can safely come back in with the Bronzong. Bronzong does need to look out for Nightshade, though. The first one, no need to shield. Um, but towards the end here, um, that second one really kind of is crucial and will add up. So he's going to have to look to land Psyshock. Um, and potentially farm down if he does decide to shield. But he's looking to switch potentially. No, no switch coming in. Nightshade right here could finish off the Bronzong if he doesn't shield. Which he's going to forego the shield. But it barely doesn't finish him off. And we see the swap into Probo Pass. Oh man, that... Whew. Wizcash can farm on energy now. Um, this is not looking good. Knocked Out is very low. Um, so he's only going to need Mud Bombs to be able to finish off. But he can absolutely load up on energy from this Probo Pass. He doesn't need to worry about Magnet Bomb, Rock Slide, Thunderbolt. None of it. He can let him hit him. He needs to save that shield for the Knocked Out. Um, so as we see right here, he's loading up. Knocked Out, remember, is low. Mud Bombs will be able to finish. But he has to get through that shield. Um, once he gets through the shield right here, he can go straight for the blizzard, um, which he's going to. So that is going to be GG's. Very well played. Very well executed right there. Um, so moving into round two. All right, in round two, we have Piscivor versus Squid Vicious. Wizcash versus Frostlass on the lead. Um, so because Frostlass can't get ahead on that energy, Wizcash is going to be able to slightly come ahead towards the end with just Mud Bomb spam. Looked like he clicked the Mud Bomb for a while, but it didn't go through. Maybe he was QSAing there. Shadow Ball is going to connect, however, doing a ton of damage. But now we're going to see an Onslaught from Mud Bombs. The first Mud Bomb will connect. No shield going up there. The second one flying out now. This is going to get Frostlass critically low, but not take it out. But will we see a shield? We do see a shield, and we see a potential swap. Oh, wow. A quick swap in turn. Knocked out to Polyrath. Now, Polyrath, even though it is a fighting type, going to be weak to Knocked Out. He can fight back um, not only with Ice Punch, but with Dynamic Punch as well. Ice Punch is going to be doing a little bit more damage in terms um, of the energy efficiency here. Going to be able to put a lot of pressure, get Knocked Out low um, very, very quickly. Um, so we see a shield now come up from Knocked Out. So he was able to successfully get two shields. He won't be able to get to um, another Ice Punch in time, but he does throw up another shield. Very interesting. All right. So we are going to see him go for another Ice Punch here. This won't take out the Knocked Out, but it will get it low. But it's going to be a race. But he's looking to swap. Or will he get it in time? He gets it in time. Um, to take out Knocked Owl, this Ice Punch will go unshielded, finishing off Knocked Owl, and we will likely see Frostlass come back in for energy. Yep, Frostlass is going to be coming back in, going to try to farm, I know he's pulling the trigger right away, likely on Avalanche for the energy efficiency here, still enough to take out Polyrath, um, and then we may see Wizcash come back in. No, we're going to see Venusaur come in and potentially the swap on Avalanche. No, he's going to win the race to Frenzy Plant. Um, even though it's, yeah, Frenzy Plant's going to be connecting here, doing nice neutral damage. And then Wizcash in the back going to be interesting. Well, okay, um, swapping now um, to Wizcash to soak the energy. 
Um, and then Venus or now coming in. Um, this is going to be a mud bomb though. There was no way he got that much energy. Um, so yeah, I think GG's. Um, I think he definitely would have, um, would have just straight up won the race to frenzy plant. Um, but I like that he tried to swap there to make him use his energy. Um, so yeah, GG's very well played. Um, let's go ahead and go into the second battle here of Pis Piscivore versus, uh, Squid. So here we go, same, looks like the same team, Whizcash, Bronzong, Venusaur, but we shall see. Not the same team, he had Polyrath last time, excuse me. Um, but we, yeah, Whizcash versus Whizcash on the mirror. Um, he's going straight Mud Bombs, not building up to Blizzard to potentially Shield Bait, just gonna go straight Mud Bombs. Um, so let's see what they both, yeah, looks like they're both going straight Mud Bombs as well. Um, really interesting in that approach, um, but we do see a swap to Venusaur, so now the Bronzong going to be coming in and absolutely farming down. Um, now, Venusaur can um, hurt Bronzong a little bit, um, as you guys can see there, it does a decent amount, so he does need to watch out, but he can definitely soak one more um, and completely farm down and then be able to get off potentially two Psy Shocks versus the Whizcash coming in. Um, so let's see what happens. So he's going to go for one Psy Shock here. Um, this is going to be doing a nice chunk of neutral damage to Whizcash, but will we see a second? Yes, he is able to get to the second in time. Um, this is definitely going to get Whizcash into the yellow, but he gets double shield. That is awesome to see. Whizcash is looking to farm down, um, but he could potentially bring in Polyrath. Yep, he's going to bring in Polyrath here. Will he shield? He's not going to shield. It's a blizzard not doing any damage to Polyrath. Frostlass now coming in and he can switch to Whizcash now going straight for the Mud Bomb um, against an unshielded Frostlass here. And he should be able to um, safely shield right here if he wants. Yep, he's going to go ahead and shield the Avalanche, get to another Mud Bomb to get Frostlass low. Um, and then likely be finishing off the match with Polyrath here. So let's see what happens. Able to get down Frostlass. Will he invest that second shield though? No second shield. He's going to go ahead and let Whizcash go down. Polyrath's going to come in. Go for the Ice Punch here. I'm not sure. You know, I think it'll take it out, but it's going to be really close. Okay, yeah, he takes him out. And then the last Pokemon being Whizcash is going to be able to go down to Dynamic Punch here. Nice and clean. Um, very well done knowing that, uh, that Polyrath could take down with Ice Punch. Um, and finish off the match. So GG's very well played. We're going to go ahead and move into game three of round two here. Um, looking to mix up his team a little bit. He's going Bronzong, Probopass, and Whizcash. Um, leading with that Bronzong versus Noctowl. So pretty nice lead, especially if you invest shields to stop one of the Night Slashes coming in from Noctowl. Um, but Noctowl can beat you um, to the Nightshades. Um, so let's see what happens here. Sky Attack coming in and we see the swap to Whizcash going for Psy Shock here. This is going to be doing quite a bit of damage, um, some unnecessary damage. And we're going to see Whizcash Mirror. Um, so yeah, here we go. This looks like it's going to be Mud Bomb, I think. Might be Blizzard. Mud Bomb. It's hard to keep up here with the um, the 1.5 times. But we have Mud Bomb now coming out from Piscivore's side. And that is going to be shielded by the Whizcash here. He's got another one ready to go. Um, this, I think he's going to let his Whizcash go down. We'll have to see. Yeah, he's going to go ahead and let his Whizcash go down. Get some extra chip damage with another Mud Bomb. And then we'll see if he can get... Oh, he's able to land the Blizzard and swap to Venusaur. Wow, awesome. Now he has um, <laughs> Bronzong to come in. And he could shield one of these Frenzy Plants for sure. I think he's going to need to. Um, in order to survive. Nope, goes unshielded. He's looking to farm down. He pulls the trigger on Psy Shock here. Um, this will be definitely forcing the shield or letting... Yeah, he gets the last shield, which is awesome to see. And he's able to go back to back now, finish off the Venusaur. And he has Probo Pass versus Knocked Owl in the back. Um, oh, and Whizcash comes in and dies instantly to Confusion. Um, and then... Probopass now versus Knocked Out. Two shields. Man, this is 
Noctowl isn't going anywhere, or Probas, Probopass isn't going anywhere, I should say. He's going to be able to successfully take down Noctowl with ease, so GG is very well played. All right, moving into round three here, we have uh, Piscivore versus Honored. Um, Honored bringing double grass, Victory Bell and Shift Tree, so really unique. So we see a um, Noctowl versus Shift Tree on the lead, so let's see what the swap is into. It is into a Bronzong, Wizcash can come in very safely now go straight for the mud bomb and really start to control this match um, definitely forcing shields or taking health we do see the first shield from bronzong likely going to see the side shock will it be shielded from Wizcash's side though we do see the shield and it is a heavy slam actually um, so interesting to see that now Wizcash going for another mud bomb this is likely going to go unshielded it's shielded again wow okay um, he's really wanting to try to get this Wizcash out of there. But will we see the double shield? We do see the double shield um, from both sides. He goes for the Bulldoze this time. Um, and now he's going for Mud Bomb. Um, this should be getting Bronzong low. And then he could finish off with Mud Shots. Um, as we see right. Oh, he's pulling the trigger again um, for Mud Bomb. He doesn't want to mess around um, with that confusion damage. Now we're likely going to see Shiftry come back in and start to farm down, but he's able to get one more Mud Bomb off here to do some nice chip damage, but Shiftry is able to really start to load up on some energy here, but he decides to pull the trigger on the Leaf Blade. Um, but we'll be seeing Knocked Out coming right back in um, to start farming down, and we may, let's see what happens. Alright, so we have the Knocked Out coming in. He's farming up. We see the swap to Wizcash now. A water gun Wizcash at that. And Venusaur is going to destroy this Wizcash with the Community Day move Frenzy Plant. Um, so, yep. And then Shift is going to be coming in, likely going for foul play here. I'm going to be doing some nice neutral damage to Venusaur. Um, but Knocked Out is loaded in the back. Um, and if he can get to a Frenzy Plant, it's over. But nope, Shift is going to pull the trigger again. Maybe it's Leaf Blade, might be Foul Play, it's Leaf Blade, okay, that'll be finishing off Venusaur, but uh, Knocked Out with Sky Attacks, gonna be GG's right here. So we're gonna go ahead and move into the second battle here of round three. Alright, so that, the catch with Knocked Out there was really clutch, um, but let's see what happens here. Now we have Wizcash lead with Knocked Out and Bronzong. Wizcash versus Wizcash on the mirror. Um, so let's see what happens here in the second battle. Water Gun Wizcash versus Mudshot Wizcash. Let's see what happens here. Alright, first charge move coming out from Honored. It's going to be a Mud Bomb. Um, no surprise there, but here we go. First Mud Bomb coming out. And we are going to see another one, not even building up to Blizzard, just going straight mud bombs. Um, but this water gun damage is really adding up for this mirror fight. We do see a shield on Wizcash. Is he going to go for another mud bomb? Is he going to shield? We do see the shield come up from Piscivore. And he's going for the Blizzard now to take him out. This Blizzard is in KO range for the Wizcash. Will it be shielded? It is not shielded. Wizcash goes down. So Piscivore wins um, that lead matchup to get soft lead reset. And we are seeing Bronzong versus Wizcash here. He's able to get to another Mud Bomb in time. Um, and we'll likely see the Bronzong mirror here. Um, again, he knows he has Heavy Slam um, and Bulldoze, I believe. So let's see what happens. All right, Bulldoze lands. No shield going up from Bronzong here. Looks like he's going for a Bulldoze himself. Um, this will be getting the opponent Bronzong into the yellow, but he does need to be wary of what's in the back. Um, and do we, are we going to see a Psy Shock? Okay, so will he put up a shield here? This is likely Heavy Slam. Yeah, Heavy Slam. No shield going up. We're going to see Knocked Out come in and start to farm. He's able to take down Bronzong. And what is going to be the last Pokemon? It's going to be a Lolan Sand Slash. Oh no. This is trouble right now. He's able to get the Sky Attack off. It's not looking too good for Knocked Out. All it's going to take is two Ice Punches to land to be able to take out Knocked Out. And he's already gotten one shield. Um, so we are likely going to be seeing um, a loss here from Piscivore's side because of this matchup. 
but you never know. He needs to get to one more sky attack, and Alolan Sandslash needs to get two ice punches. So there's one, but can't, it's going to be a race now to the charge move. Oh, he just doesn't get it. Wow, coming in clutch there with Alolan Sandslash to finish off the second battle. So we are tied 1-1 in the series. So let's go ahead and go to game three, round three. Wow, he had the sky attack right there too. That is really interesting. Piscivore versus Honored, round three, game three. Noctowl versus Wizcash on the lead. Um, a water gun Wizcash at that. Um, so he doesn't really have to worry too much about the uh, the blizzard. Actually, no. And actually, now he does. If it's a blizzard, he's gone. So he may have to shield. It's going to be a mud bomb. Not doing a lot of damage. But that water gun damage is doing a lot, actually. Very unique to see that coming into this tournament. We do see the shield, and he's going for another sky attack here. Um, this is going to be getting Wizcash into the yellow. And will we see a shield come up on Knocked Owl's side? Ooh, is it Mud Bomb? Is it Blizzard? It's going to be Mud Bomb again. Risk it for the biscuit. Here we go. Another Mud Bomb connecting here with the Water Gun damage. He's going to have to shield if he wants to win this lead switch advantage. He can't farm down. The Water Gun's going to be doing too much damage. But if he can pull off the Sky Attack to get the shield, that could be a win in itself. Or win the soft lead reset, which is what we see. So now we see Shift Tree coming in. And he's got two not good options. Polyrath is the best of the two for sure. Um, but Shift Tree is looking to be slightly ahead on energy here. Again, he can survive one Leaf Blade, but he cannot survive two. So he's going to go ahead and let one hit him. And he's going to go straight for Dynamic Punch, hoping he doesn't shield right here. Let's see what happens. Shield does come up on Shift Tree side, so now he is back at it. He is going to have to shield this right here. The Wizcash will not be able to take it down. He needs to get to that Dynamic Punch in time. Oh my goodness, he just got the Leaf Blade. That was three Snarls from Shift Tree side, but he's able to get the excellent Dynamic Punch to finish off Shift Tree. And the final Pokemon is going to be Alolan Sand Slash. So if he can get to the Dynamic Punch, this will be taking out the Alolan Sand Slash here. On top of that, he has Wizcash in the back. So that is going to be GG's for round three, game three. Woo! All right, moving into round four Piscivore versus Old Crag. Um, let's see how this goes. We have Wizcash versus Torterra. Shiny Torterra on the lead. He's got to get out of there. That Razor Leaf is going to be absolutely destroying him. He is swapping into Noctowl now. The Noctowl Mirror now comes in. So he is definitely ahead on energy. So this is going to be looking good for Piscivore to potentially win soft lead reset. Um, especially if he's getting those shields as well. Will we see a shield from Piscivore? We do. He really wants to win this soft lead reset. Knowing that Knocked Owl um, can beat that Torterra um, and potentially do well to whatever's in the back. We are seeing a Sky Attack connect now. No shield coming from Old Crag, but will he win to, this, to the next Sky Attack? No, he doesn't. Is he going to shield this one? No shield coming in. He's going to let the Sky Attack go, but will he be able to finish off or get the second shield right here? Let's see what happens. All right, he's able to finish off Noctowl, win soft lead reset, and we see a Wizcash coming in. We do see the swap now to Wizcash, and the Torterra now is going to come in, but can he get to the Blizzard in time? He can with absolutely no health, but is it going to connect? Oh my goodness, he actually connects it, one-shots the Torterra. Now he is set up really, really well, um, but he is in a tough predicament where... He needs to do a lot of damage with this Knocked Owl. And Bronzong is not looking too hot of a matchup versus Wizcash. So he needs Wizcash to use his energy right here. Will we see a shield? No shield coming in. He's going to let Knocked Owl go down. But he's actually able to get to a second Sky Attack. Wow, this is definitely going to be getting the shield from Wizcash right here. And then we're going to see the swap to Bronzong. Bronzong is going to be able to finish off. Um, with confusion damage and that size shock he's gonna have to shield it's a blizzard as well too oh wow okay um so yeah even better for the bronzong right now um where he is able to survive that mud bomb and get to the size shock right here to finish off the first game of round four so ggs very well played what a clutch blizzard right there that was awesome to see all right game two round four 
let's get right into it here. We have Piscovor versus Old Crag, 1-0 in the series. We have a Bronzong lead with Venusaur, um, and I didn't catch that third one, but we have Bronzong on the lead versus Alolan Ninetales. Um, so is it a charm one? Well, it must have been. He bailed right out. And then we see Noctowl come in straight into a Probo Pass. Probo Pass is going to be able to absolutely wall because he has the Spark as the fast move. He's going to be able to farm so much energy and decide when he wants to take down this Noctowl. He's going to absolutely start loading up. He's going for the Rock Slide now. Um, this won't take out Noctowl, but it'll get it critically low and he can still farm down. So we're going to see him basically completely farm down. He's already looking pretty solid versus Alolan Ninetales with the Rock Slide and Magnet Bomb. But will we see um, potentially a different... Well, we're going to see a different Pokemon in that third slot, but what is it going to be? Um, so again, farming so much energy right now. Let's see what is coming in here. So we see Probo Pass Mirror. So having Magnet Bomb is definitely going to be advantageous for the Mirror right here. Um, and he's just going to be spamming all day long. Um, he's going to be able to handle this Probo Pass, um, especially with that Venusaur. But will we see, and Bronzong as well. But let's see what happens. All right, Probo Pass. Old Crag sending off his charge move right here. Going to be a Thunderbolt. Getting Probo Pass low, but he's able to get to another Magnet Bomb here to chip away at Old Crag's Probo Pass. And he's likely going to go down to Spark Damage, which he does. Will we see the Bronzong or Venusaur come in? We're going to see the Venusaur come in. Venusaur is looking so strong versus both. He's able to get off the Sludge Bomb here, or the Frenzy Plant. Um, is what he goes for and we're likely going to see the swap into Bronzong. Nope, we see the shield and he's going to go for Sludge Bomb now. The Sludge Bomb is going to be taking out the Alolan Ninetales because of that fairy typing here. Sludge Bomb connects and now we see the swap to Bronzong to finish off Ninetales with Confusion Damage and go against Probo Pass right here. He goes ahead and pulls the trigger on Psy Shock to do that extra little bit of damage that he needs to win the round. So GG's very well played. All right, game three, round four, Piscivor versus Old Crag. Let's see what happens. We have a Poliwrath lead this time with Bronzong and Wizcash in the back. Let's see how this match goes. Poliwrath, Wizcash on the lead. Um, Polyrath can do actually a lot of damage to an unshielded Wizcash right here, especially with that Dynamic Punch. Both moves are going to be doing a lot of damage, but Dynamic Punch has that stab, so let's see what happens. It goes unshielded, gets Wizcash to half health, but Wizcash is pretty loaded on energy right here. We're just going to see Mud Bombs flying all around. Are we going to see a swap from Wizcash though? No swap yet. We do see another Mud Bomb coming out. Is a shield going to go up? No shield. Still watching for the swap right here. He's going to go for another dynamic punch. Will we see a shield from Wizcash? We do see the shield and we see the swap now to Wizcash. Will we see the grass Pokemon come in? No, we do not. Um, Mud Bomb going to be coming from Piscivore. No shield coming up on the Wizcash, but we are seeing Old Crag stay in with his own Wizcash. To go for the Blizzard and it connects onto the Wizcash and now the swap to Noctowl. But he's going to go ahead and go straight for Blizzard. Either getting the final shield or absolutely chunking Noctowl's health. So he gets the final shield. But he's still sitting pretty good because he has Bronzong with two shields in the back. Which will be able to handle Noctowl. But let's see what happens. He lets his Wizcash go down. We'll likely see Bronzong now come in. Um, gonna be able to start farming down. He needs to watch out for Night Slash though. It's not gonna do a ton, but it's gonna do not Night Slash. Sorry, Night Shade. Um, the Psy Shock now gonna be going unshielded because all shields are down on Old Crag's side. As we see, Knocked Out is getting lower and lower. Oh man, what is that third Pokemon gonna be? Another Night Shade coming in. We are seeing the shield come up on Bronzong, but it's actually a sky attack for the shield bait. He's going to go ahead and pull the trigger on Psyshock right here to finish off. Hoping that that final Pokemon is something that he can handle. The Whiskash comes in, dies instantly to confusion, and the final Pokemon is going to be a Probo Pass. So if he can get to this Bulldoze, this is going to be clutch. He's going to be able to get to the Bulldoze. 
Um, but Willie swapped to Polyrath to try to go for the dynamic punch here. He swaps to Polyrath, but remember those sparks are going to be able to take it out. He goes for Ice Punch now. Um, this might just be enough to finish off round four, and it is. GG's very well played. All right, so we are in the finals. Piscivor versus Kyle Styles here. Probopass versus Swampert on the lead. Um, so this is not good for Probopass at all. Hydro Cannon is going to be absolutely destroying, and Swampert is going to beat him to that all day, every day. Um, so we are seeing him stay in. Um, going for Rock Slides right now. This isn't going to do a lot of damage to a Swampert, um, but let's see what happens. So he's going to go ahead and get another Rock Slide off right here. He might have been too worried to switch out and be switch locked, um, but Swampert is able to farm down. So this is really deadly, but he does have Venusaur um, in the back ready to start farming down, but Swampert does have Sludge Wave. So is this Hydro Cannon? Is this Sludge Wave? Is this Earthquake? What is it going to be? It's going to be Hydro Cannon. So really risky right there. Um, now this charge move could be Earthquake or Sludge Wave, which would take out Venusaur. And it's going to be Sludge Wave, and that barely gets Venusaur down. No health on the Venusaur. Two Pokemon still left um, for Kyle Styles, and it's going to be a Shift Tree versus a Bronzong. Oh no, it is all over right here. So game one, not looking too hot. Um, for Piscivore, he's going to go ahead and let his Bronzong go down. That's why he's not shielding right there. He knows it's over. He's just, mercy, mercy take me out right here. So, Shift Tree going to be finishing off. Bronzong, let's go ahead and get into game two. Kyle Styles took game one aggressively right there, especially with that lead. All right, game two, we see a different setup. We saw Knocked Out on the lead. So let's see what happens. We have Knocked Owl lead versus Swampert. Swampert can still do a lot of damage to a Knocked Owl. Um, so he needs to be wary of that. Hydro Cannon is going to be doing a lot. But Sky Attack um, is definitely better than Probo Pass versus Swampert. I'll tell you that. Um, so no shield coming in here from Knocked Owl. We do see the Sky Attack coming off here. Is he going to get the excellent though? He is. And that is going to be shielded um, by Swampert. So will we see a shield from Knocked Out here? We do see the shield in kind for that Hydro Cannon. And he's looking to get to the next Sky Attack before another Hydro Cannon comes in. Will this be shielded though? It is shielded. And we are going to see the swap potentially to Polyrath. No swap though. Is he going to keep the shield? He's going to go ahead and keep the shield. And he's looking to swap. Actually, nope. He gets all the energy from Swampert. Um, into knocked out. Oh, he's shielding as well. And now he's looking to swap. Oh my goodness. He's trying to swap, trying to do a charge move. I wonder what's happening actually on his side, but he's getting off the sky attack and he's going to win the soft lead versus Swampert. Um, so that's actually really advantageous for him now, but let's see what comes in. It's going to be shift tree. Will he get to the sky attack in time? No, he's going to be able to get the leaf blade off. That was, oh, that was devastating. But he can come in with Polyrath and get to the dynamic punch and still survive one Leaf Blade. Um, so it's going to be all about what is in the back for Wizcash to take down. So Leaf Blade is coming through. He's going to be able to get to the dynamic punch. This dynamic punch will be taking out the shift tree because of its dark typing and not bulky stats. And we see Polyrath versus Polyrath on the mirror. Wizcash is going to be coming in, going for Mud Bomb Spam. He was able to get a little bit of energy on his Polyrath before he went out. Um, and we see Dynamic Punch is coming now. So, woo, this is going to come down to the wire. Wizcash going for Mud Bombs here. He likely will be able to get to one more Mud Bomb before the Dynamic, which he does. Um, this will be getting Polyrath very, very low, and Polyrath needs to be smart on his energy right here. He's going to have to finish off um, Wizcash and then have energy for, Pol for uh, Piscivore's Polyrath, but I think he is ahead on energy. All he needs to do is get to one Ice Punch, which he does. This will be enough to take out um, the Polyrath, so GG's. The finals, round five, game two, tied 1-1 in the series. Now we are moving on to game three for the championship here. Piscivore versus Kyle Styles. This is what you want in a game five. Here we go. Knocked out versus Alolan Sandslash on the lead, so a bad lead. But we're going to see a swap here. But what is it going to be into? It's going to be into the Polyrath here 
on the Ice Punch to soak that extra damage. This Ice Punch won't be doing a lot to a Polyrath. But we see the switch now to Shift Tree, and he's going to go for Ice Punches now. He really wants to put some shield pressure while still doing damage. This is what makes Polyrath so deadly for the Fusion Cup, is his ability to cover his weaknesses. We are seeing his shield come up now with the Leaf Blade. He wants to get more shields and get this Shift Tree out of the match. He's going to go ahead and get a Dynamic Punch off just before the Leaf Blade comes in from the Shift Tree. Excellent dynamic punch. Gets the second shield from Shift Tree. Will he let his Polyrath go down now? He is going to let his Polyrath go down. It served its purpose. He can now come in with Knocked Owl and start farming down Shift Tree. He's going to go ahead and pull the trigger. Nope, he's going to let the foul play get off. Will it be shielded? No shield coming in. It's going to be Leaf Blade actually. He's going to be able to farm down. Not looking to switch. He is loading up on a ton of energy. He might need to shield here. Knockdown is going to be critically low if he doesn't. All right, so now he's looking to switch. Nope, he's going for Sky Attack here. The Sky Attack will be finishing off Shift Tree, but it's all going to be about what is that third Pokemon. Shield Advantage, Soft Lead Advantage on Piscivore's side. Now we see Swampert come in. So here we go. Swampert gonna see the swap into Venusaur. Venusaur is gonna get so much energy and take down Swampert so quickly. We're gonna be seeing a Hydro Cannon come in here. We are gonna see the shield on Venusaur. The Hydro Cannon does not connect and we see the swap out into Alolan Sand Slash, but he's able to get a Frenzy Plant off here. The Frenzy Plant's gonna be doing quite a bit of damage and he's so far ahead on energy. This Ice Punch isn't gonna be finishing off Venusaur. It's not gonna do enough damage. And Venusaur is going to be able to get to the next Frenzy Plant. This Frenzy Plant will be taken out, Alolan Sand Slash, and it's just going to be the Vine Whip damage to finish off the match for the championship. And Knocked Owl actually is, has to finish it with Wing Attack, so GG's very well played. GG's Piscivore, those games were really awesome. Super clutch coming in at the end, and I really liked your Polyrath play there with the dynamic Ice Punch coverage to everything that could beat him on top of huge coverage versus the meta. Um, so it was a really awesome showcase of Polyrath. So if you guys like this video, be sure to smash that like button and comment down below and let me know what you guys thought about this tournament. And like always, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.